everybody, it's Sam at Mix Up Craft. Thank you for watching my tutorial today. I'm going to be showing you how to make this mini album. Um, I have done a couple again in the past, um, but it's something I've just not shared. Um, and it is another form of paper craft that I really enjoy doing. Um, I originally have just not long done another one, which I was going to show first, but I've decided I'm going to show this one first. So when you hear me talking through this one <laughs> I revert back to and the one you would have seen last week but that's the reason why I've actually switched them around so I decided to go with this one first it's a bit more um, easier I guess um, and yeah I just hope you you like it this is using the Do Crafts freshly cut flowers <laughs> collection um, um, it's a kind of a kit I guess it's the 48 page and it's got die cuts, it's got vellum, it's got um, decoupage, it's got loads of paper and I've also got the 12 by 12 paper pad and I did share all of that stuff before and I've used it in a card, the double easel uh, gatefold card that I've done. Anyway, this is what I've got. So um, it's gorgeous, I absolutely love this. Um, I haven't put the pictures in yet, I will share them separately in my blog just because there's other people in them and I didn't want to put them out on my video. So it's got this gorgeous spine here um, with this bow and this is just a part of the old broken necklace that I had. I've got this little cluster of dried flowers, this little, um, oh gosh, it's a resin little uh, decorative embellishment. These are flowers from an old uh, bunch of fake flowers that I had. Little acetate butterfly there. I've used my corner protectors, then I've used my snaps to create the fastening here, which pops in nicely, and then you open it up and you have your pages. So this is a four page uh, mini album with obviously eight sides, and each page has a paper uh, photo mat that comes out of the top. So you also have one, two big photos can go on there. So you've got room here for eight big photos and then well as many big photos as you want it depends on how you lay out your pages but for example I've got this mat here for pictures on one of the pages this one here you open and flip out and you can put more photos in there you can put little tickets um, your you know flight tickets things like that any kind of memories these two big tags I'm going to put photos on um, and I've decorated the same little paper flowers throughout which match I've finished the little spine there. This has got little Miri card um, circle punches on the top there just to help you pull them out. There is so much going on, but it is very simple in terms of other mini albums out there. So I've, um, you know, I just thought I'd show you something quite basic. Um, I will also share links to other people that I enjoy watching in the video description below, and I also mention them in my tutorial that you'll see next week. So. Yeah, there's, there's lots here, um, it's really fun to make and you can still make this without the snaps, without the corner protectors here, that's things that I've had in my stash for a long time so, um, but you can certainly obviously put this together and also I've done little eyelet um, rings there on my tags and finished it off with some ribbon which just sticks out the top there which I think looks really nice. And yeah, it is a lovely decorative piece. This is going to sit on my shelf for me to just enjoy. So it's got no um, message or sentiments or anything on it. It didn't need to be because it's just for me. Um, I might, I've got little tags that say memories and things on it and maybe add something like that later. But yeah, this is what we're going to make. So enjoy the tutorial and um, yeah, I hope you like it. Thank okay, so for this smaller version, you're going to need a piece of 12 by 7.5. Um, I've got the lovely. Um, like lavender colours here with the green spray flowers, beautiful, beautiful. And then I've got my chipboard, which is four and a half by six and a half. You need two pieces of that, and then you need one piece of two by six and a half. Okay, so pop all these to one side, and I need to just check which way I had it because I was laying out. Yes, this bit's going to be near the front, so flip it over. And these will fit perfectly with a half inch hanging over and this piece in the middle. Now when you're, same as I mentioned in my other mini album tutorial, when you line this all up, 
just lift up as if you're opening and closing. When you lift it up, when it goes down, try not to move it. You see the gap you get? That's the gap that you want to have. You can have a little bit more, which I'm, I tend to give, just to account for the paper. That will also add extra bulk. So just make sure it's all nice and even. I would say make sure you've got your, your front and your back all nice and lined up there. And then that middle piece, like so. Okay, now once you're happy that that's all in place, then we need to get it all stuck down. So first of all, I'm going to grab my, um, what am I going to use today? Let's use some of my score tape, although I don't seem to have a lot of it left. Okay, I'm going to use some of my new thicker tape here, which I totally forgot I had. <laughs> Terrible, isn't it? And I brought it not too long ago, actually, as well. So just trim off the end there. Okay, so take these off. doesn't matter which side, but I'm just going to go around and just cover these with my tape. Okay, I've just covered all of those, and then I'm just going to go over and just make sure that that's all stuck to my chipboard. Okay, the one thing I totally forgot to do on my other album, and it's not made an issue at all to it, um, but a lot of people use Tyvek, and um, if you didn't watch the tutorial before, it's basically a material that doesn't rip, and it's really good to put on the spines and the bends of your mini albums, um, or any albums that you make. If you don't have it, you can also run some of the double-sided tape. It won't obviously um, stop it from tearing, but it will give it just that little bit more of a hold. So just roughly where these go here, I'm just going to run. In fact, let me just grab my pencil. Uh, that one was roughly there. I'm just putting pencil mark where that would be, and then I'm just going to run because I know that that's going to be where that, that spine is, like so. And then I'm going to remove the backing as normal. Like I said, it's not going to stop it ripping, but it does just give it that little extra something. So let's stick down these. And I'm also going to run over some of my wet glue. And just make sure you stick with that half inch border. Don't worry if it's a little bit off. I've got more on the top there than I have on the bottom, but that will do. Because this one now will be my guide for all the rest, so again, just make sure that's all stuck down. And then do the same with all the other bits. Okay, so that's now all in place, and you can see it all looks nice there. And then just carefully just bring up your sides there just to start kind of stretching that card into place, and you can see that you're going to get a nice spine then we need to start to bring all these in so just fold them all up and get them to kind of start sitting in place you need to do the corners first so i'm just using a bit of my glue here just pop it in all four corners and to go a little bit down the sides actually i always forget to go down the sides And just bring up each corner so that you're creating a little square in the bottom corner of the chipboard there. And then with your bone folder, just go in and push down against that corner. If I just bring that up so you can see what I've done. So I've just pushed it right in and then you want to start really kind of working it into the, the corners there with your bone folder so you can see the chipboard silhouette the shape of it through the pattern paper there okay so again just do that one so just bring it in so that you've got another square shape and then just using my bone folder there just to work that in until that glue's set again you might be able to see it better on that one there you can see what i've just done so just do that on the other two corners okay so that's all my corners in and then you just need to go in now and stick down all of your sides so i'm just going to run my tacky glue all the way along and just fold them all in and stick them all down okay so that's all done and again just with those bits there just push them into the kind of edges there and then when that comes around you'll get your little album
Okay, so yeah, that was my front because it's got the biggest spray there. Although that does look quite cool as well. We'll see, I'll probably end up changing it. Okay, then to cover all of the inside, you need a piece that is six and a quarter by 11. This is the same print, but it's just in this kind of apricot um, color. And that will sit perfectly over, just giving you a tiny bit of a border there. So get that all stuck down. You can use um, your double-sided tape. I'm gonna actually put my tape on here. And then I'm gonna put glue on the um, the paper as well. Okay, so I'm just putting my glue just in this bit here and just along any bits where I feel I want to. <laughs> Always cover it. You can never have too much, not when it's something like this. It's just along the edges there, really. Any that comes over, I'll just use my rubber, but I don't think that's gonna be going anywhere and then start from one side because I've got a bit of wiggle room there because I've got that glue and check I get it exactly where I want it perfect and then just go over that and just make sure all the glue is spread out and it's all nice and flat and just lift it up just so you can see and just kind of use your bone folder just so you get a nice crease and again, that glue, because it's a tacky glue, it stays quite like elastic, so it will move all the time, which is again good. But everything now is concealed, and you've got a really nice case. So now I need to do my corners, um, and I've got a few. I've got these little silver ones. So whether I go for silver this time, because they sit quite nicely on there, or again, go for the big gold ones, but I think they are. So I don't know, because even really large still look good on a cute. So it does look quite cute, doesn't it? Small to silver. Oh, I'm gonna go for small, just because they're different, because I've used the big gold ones. I've got some other ones there as well, I've got some plain ones, and I've got somewhere some really, like over the top ones, but they wouldn't go with this. But I've got little plain ones there as well. Now I'm going to go for the one, two, three, four. And then I have got a hammer. You can use pliers, but I actually find a hammer is better and you have a bit more control with it. Um, on the last tutorial, I didn't push record or I it didn't record or something. So you actually get to see me do it properly this time. But basically, you just want to sit one over the top, lie it all down flat. You want to do this now before you've got anything in it for this reason. So lie it down flat, push it right in, butt it right up to the corner. Actually, you want to turn it over. It doesn't matter because I've got the tissue, but it's the, it's the other side you want to do. And there you will see a perfect corner really really nice so you just want to go and do that on all four sides okay so there I now have my corners already it looks lovely so now we need to do our hinges okay so for the hinges you're going to need a piece of four and a half by five and three quarters so I've already scored and done this because I just wanted to check that it is all going to fit so along the four and a half inch side you just want to score every half inch so half inch one one and a half, two, two and a half, three, three and a half, four. Flip it over and do exactly the same. So this is just to really soften up the fibres in those score lines so that we can fold it in both ways. So obviously it's the hinge, it's going to be moving from left and right all the time. Okay, so that's that piece. Then what you need to do is the two outer ones will be your single hinges every, and then the other... Um, two in the middle will be our double hinges because obviously they'll be stuck together so what you want to do it doesn't matter really which side but you want to fold the first one up okay then you're going to leave one flat bring the next one up and then the next one down so you create that so this one fold up this one stays flat 
and then you're creating this mountain or a valley as you're looking at it but it's a mountain fold it'd be that way okay then this next one was go is going to stay flat so this one here is going to go up and you're going to create another mountain fold and then the last one's going to be flat and then that very last one is going to fold up so you should have that shape if I keep it like that for a minute looks like a, a heart rate okay so you want to have it peak here the, the outer bit and then it goes flat then up into a mountain then flat another mountain and flat and then on the back here where you've got those flat pieces just put an F when you go to stick this that's what you want you want those three F's to face you so then you know you stuck it correctly put a cross on the outer one and put another cross on that one all the empty ones are what we're now going to stick our tape to so just lie it down flat and I am going to use this other score tape we've got the half inch one here and run it through and I always forget to do this um, where is it yeah quick way just to rip and get a perfect line I always rip it but I've ripped it for years so it's really hard to start doing something you know that you're not used to doing but I'm gonna try and remember because it is it's so so good I've seen a few people do this now and it um, it's also really quick as well there we go okay so just remove again where's my bone folder make sure that's all nice and secure okay and again just for good measure some glue just down one side of the middle ones there and then you're just going to squash them together and the other two squash them together so now I've got those three F's facing and then the two crosses so now when it's this way that's going to stick inside and they are our four hinges one two three four so just to make sure it's all stuck down nicely just fold it to one side, burnish, I can see some glue coming out the edges there so I know I've spread it all out, fold it over to the other side in the other direction, lots of glue but that means it's nice and stuck and then again with the other one just fold it in each direction just again just to get it used to the fact that that's what it's going to be doing. This is 300 GSM which is £110 um, so it's you know it's the thick thick card so it can withhold kind of um, what's the word I'm looking for pressure and strain okay so that is now ready to go in and it's going to stick right in the middle so you should have a quarter of an inch from the spine where it bends here okay and then a quarter inch on this side and about half an inch from the bottom top and the bottom there so I'm just gonna again flip it over just lie it down flat and just pop sticky tape all on where it says F okay nowhere else just across the parts where it says F okay so just remove the backing and then I'm just gonna pop glue across those three Okay, so again, if I just pull up, it's just on that bit there. So you should have, let's pop these back up. They've just been flattened. Okay, you've got your four facing up. You put your glue on those three pieces there. And then, it doesn't matter which way up at the minute, because these make no difference whatsoever. And you just want to make sure, in fact, I need to face this way, I think. That's better. So pull it straight, nice and taut, and then you can see, that's as good as I'm going to get it. And then just again okay so there are our hinges ready you can see now the room that we've got so next we need to make our pages okay so for the pages you're going to need four pieces of eight and three quarters by six and along the eight and three quarter inch side you want to score it four and three eighths okay and then just fold that in half and that is going to give us one of our pages and this is a obviously a top um, pocket page if you want to do the side pocket like my other tutorial revert back to that and just do that that one it's easy to do 
So I've already got my four there. Now what we want to do first is, is I'm going to run my double-sided tape along every side of these four hinges. So on each side. So that one and then turn it over and do the other side because each side of this is going to go over the hinge. Okay, and again, make sure it's all stuck down nicely. So, and then your pages are going to open out like this. We're going to stick that in there and then that's going to be stuck over like so. So the hinge will end up being completely concealed. If you want to distress anything, you want to distress it now before you stick it all down. And I would suggest that maybe you, it depends, you might struggle decorating your pages unless you're going to do separate mats and stick the mats on top. But otherwise you might want to decorate your pages now before you stick them. But again, watch a tutorial, see what you decide and feel that you want to do. So you want your opening on the left hand side, okay? So opening on the left hand side, you're then going to run some tape just along the bottom of that left hand side so just down there okay and do that on all four pieces okay so that's all four of them done and again just going to quickly just make sure it's all stuck down okay so grab one of them and I'm going to start with the far right hand side one here and just take off the backing on both sides. Obviously don't push it over too far, otherwise it'll end up sticking to your other hinge. So just kind of hold it up there until you can pick it off. Okay. Now this is going to come over each end by one eighth of an inch. Okay, so make sure if I bring it up, can you see it comes over the top of the hinge there by one eighth of, the of an inch and it comes down the bottom. Just try and keep it as centred as possible. Once you put one in then you'll use that as your guide for your other three. But I'm just making sure that I've got an even kind of, got that peachy colour paper there as well. Just an even amount of that showing. But the bottom is flat on the bottom of the, the uh, case here. But it right up to that hinge. Fold the hinge over so it sticks and then you can just fold that whole piece down over the top. Okay, and then we have our first page. Okay, so again, onto the next one. Peel off my backing. Okay, get the next page. Take off the tape there. And again, now I'm gonna line it up with the page that I've just stuck down. And again, stick that side and then pop that one down. So now we've got two pages. And just do that on the other ones. Okay, so there, now we have our four pockets with our top, um, our four pages with our top pockets. Okay, so next we need to make the mats to go into those. Okay, so I've gone ahead and I've just laid down there all of my mats, so every page. So you'll need eight pieces of four and one eighth of an inch by five and three quarters. Okay, so eight pieces. Um, and then I've got my pocket mats here and the white actual main piece is three and three quarters of an inch by five and five eighths of an inch. And then the mats on top there are three and three eighths of an inch by five and three eighths of an inch. You'll need eight pieces of that, obviously, for each side, and four pieces of the actual main um, piece of card. Okay, so they sit in there nicely. I'm going to finish that with ribbon, probably put some eyelets on it as well, but next I'm going to talk you through decorating your pages, decorating the front, the spine, and the fastening. Okay, so I have started decorating some of it. I've still got more to do, but if I just show you what I've done here, I've got these um, lilac coloured uh, Nouveau drops. I've used a little brad and I just cut the metal off there and stuck it down. This was just in my little embellishment stash. Dried flowers, I've got an enamel 
um, embellishment there and that's the leaves I've used in previous tutorials and then one of my little butterflies so I don't think I'm going to have a any wording on this I think I'm just going to keep it plain but I want to do something down on here as well but that's still coming to me I'm not sure what I'm going to do yet so what I've gone ahead and done is I've done four different pages and I'm going to repeat them again on the other four sides so then we've got our eight sides so this is the first one so it just opens up if you've got magnets obviously magnets is, will work fine I've actually run out and the tiny ones I've got are not going to work for this so I've just used my velcro dots but I've got one you could even use that mat as well even though it's got the velcro there but you've got three mats there to put pictures on um, and then that just closes then this one here opens up this way so again you've got two mats here and then we've got this page with two tags and you can put pictures on each side of those and then this back one here has just got this large mat so they're really simple ones for what I'm going to be putting in here um, this is enough for me and then we've also got all of these ones in the tops here as well so I am going to show you how I make each one I'm going to make little tops to be able to pull those top mats in and out as well so first of all I've got all my bits here and I've already gone and decorated them all as well so I'm just going to talk you through each bit so this first one here is this one and just grab my scoreboard so to make this one you need a piece that is 11 and 3 quarters by uh, 3 and 7 eighths of an inch so the reason I've got 11 and 3 quarters is because I'm using A4 but if you've got 12 by 12 then just use your 12 inch length um, and then along that long side you want to score at three and a half and nine okay and then just fold over your two bits there and you'll have this pocket this opening now for all the mats and layers so for the top ones here you're going to need a piece of three and three eighths of an is that three no three and five eighths of an inch by two and three eighths of an inch you'll need two pieces because to go on that side this piece you only need one because this is going to be the bit that we glue down so this piece again is that three and five eighths of an inch width um, and then it is five and one eighth of an inch long and then this one again you'll need two pieces so it's that same width which was yeah three and five eighths that one's gone a little shorter but it's three and five eighths by three and one eighth so you'll need two of them stick them all down now this one I'm going to put at the back because I'm kind of reverse the order now so I've got it at the front on this one but I'm going to have it on the back on this one here. So I have got my velcro dots, just make sure they are lined up and then I'll pop that one just there, there you go. Okay mine just meets on the 11 and a half inch length, if you've got 12 inches then obviously you'll have a bit more there. So then I just need to add my glue. Okay, and then I'm just going to pop that one on this back page here. You'll have a nice one um, eighth of an inch border all the way around. Just open it up. Like I said, you'll probably have your, um, you won't have stuck your pages in like I mentioned before, so it'd be easy for you to do, but I don't mind doing it this way. Okay, so that is now that one in the back. That is all ready to fill with pictures. So now the next page we will do is this one here. So for that one you need a piece of nine and a half by five and a half and along the nine and a half inch side you want to score it three and three eighths and seven and five eighths of an inch. Again fold over all of your sides And the one that goes in will be slightly shorter just so it fits in there nicely and that's how mine's going to look so again I'm now going to do that on the second to last page it's going to be this one here and it's going to sit in like so okay so all the mats and layers for this one so the front so again you'll need two pieces of this one now that I'm telling you which is five and three quarters by five and one eighth then you'll need 
little bit of dirt on that one. One piece of five and one eighth by three and a half. And then two pieces of, again, five and one eighth by three and three eighths, because that one's slightly shorter. Right, I'm just going to rub off whatever that is. Okay, so that one's going like that. And again, I've got my Velcro. I'm just going to stick that one in the middle. I'll just stick that one on one side and then fold that one over. And then again, that side there. And it's going to open out. It's entirely up to you which way you want to have it, depending on which way you um, stick down your card and if it's directional. It doesn't really matter whether it opens out to the left or to the right. And again, just lie that one down. Okay, so then we've got that other one. So again, you'll have two of all of this. Everything I'm giving you, you will do it twice because obviously that's the same pocket that I've got here. Okay, that one I rounded off the edges, that one I didn't, I forgot, but it's still, it looks fine. So now the next pocket is going to be the same, so these two are going to mirror each other now, because it's the middle. So this piece here is, grab my tags, it's my mat, so where is my little pocket? Okay, so this is just a little pocket and then tags, so for the little pocket it's four and five, um, four and seven eighths of an inch by two and a half okay and you want to score along the four and seven eighths of an inch side at half an inch and four and three eighths and then along the short side you want to score at half an inch okay and then what we're going to do is just cut keep putting down my scissors I've been using and then having to grab another pair anyway then you just want to cut right across the cross of the score lines there and again on that one and then I'm just going to take a little wedge out of the top of each bit there. Okay. Fold and burnish all of your score lines. Okay. And then again, I'm just using my Tombow, just a little bit of glue, that one in here. And again, just make sure you've got that even little one eighth of an inch border. Okay. So here are my two tags, so those are going to sit in, I've got different patterns on different sides so again it all matches, it's all from that same collection, so they're going to go like so, but I'll just show you just to um, how I do my little eyelet holes, so you just need a hole punch and I'm just going to come in on the tops there and that one and then I've got some silver eyelets here and my pliers I'm just going to pop them in and then just squeeze that on okay it gives you a really nice finish on your tags that's not that way take that one out like so. Okay. They look really, really nice now. And then I've just got the same yellow ribbon. I'm just sticking with the same all the way through. And this is, again, just purely decorative, really. Um, you can use them to pull the tags out, but there's, there's not really a need to do it like that. But I'm just going to loop those through. And then just trim. So you've got one longer than the other. And again. This just gives you... A mini album a little bit of texture and a bit of something something and then those will now sit in there all ready to be filled with pictures that's a really nice center part there and then the last one I've got to do is just this other simple um, pocket which is the side pocket and this is a piece of two and a half by six and a half along the six and a half inch side you want to score at half an inch and at six and then along the two and a half, you want to score at half an inch. Okay, and you put this together exactly the same way as that smaller pocket that I just did. So along the crossed score lines, you're just going to cut and then just take little wedges off the tops here. 
and again just fold and burnish and pop the glue on the backs of all of those three sides. Okay, and then again this one, that's, you can have it that way or you can have it that way. Um, so I've got mine out, so I'm going to pop it back in. Again, that same little border. And then the mat to go on top, or to go in the pocket even, is a piece of three and three quarters by one, two, three, four, five and a quarter. And then you'll need two mats to go on top, so that's three and a half by five. It's in between four and seven eighths and five, but you'll need two of that to give you your little pocket there. Put that one in, should go in, there we go. Okay, so that is, that's all my pages done. And you can see there, it still closes nicely. It's before, I mean, I have to decorate it. I've got to put my embellishments on so it will bulk it a bit, but there's so much room now to bulk that out with our photos. Now I'm going to next um, make some little kind of tabs to pull these in and out more because they do drop down further. I've got them lifted out at the moment so I can easily get them and just show you how I decorate them and make a fastening. Okay, so I have just gone and put some like flowers, um, bits and pieces on there. I'm still working on that, but I've gone and put some Miri card one inch circle punches on the tops of every single mat. Um, picture mat from the top there and it it looks not only does it look really nice seeing all those kind of silver bits popping up there but it does make it much much easier to just grab those and, and pull them out so that worked really like that now I've been playing around with clasps I've also got this bow here which was part of this um, I keep saying kit but I'm going to pop that at the top there on the spine and then I'm going to have some little charms I've got some where is it I've got this broken necklace here so I plan on doing something with this hanging down the side. But I've been working on the closure, so I'm doing something a bit different. Um, and I'm hoping it's going to work. Basically, what I've done is I've cut two strips. So a purple here is five and three eighths of an inch by one inch. And then I've got the same pattern paper that, was, that I um, used for my cover, so I kept a bit back. And this is five and a quarter by three quarters I believe yeah stick them on top of each other so I've used my red tape and some Tombow glue so it's nice and nice nice and nice it's nice and strong and then just use your bone folder with so much stuff here and just roll it around like so okay and the idea is that this is going to sit an inch in on the back there and an inch in on the front now at the minute when I'm squeezing it you've got this all bobbling out but already mine's getting quite fat and it will allow it to expand and it will obviously completely straighten out so this is the test let's see if it works so I'm going to mark with a pencil on this back bit first at one inch now I'm going to stick it down initially and then I'm going to add the snap over the top which I'll talk through purely on the back it's decorative um, but it will also give it that extra secure um, uh, secure that extra yeah it will make it more secure that's what I want to say so it definitely won't come off so I'm just popping my Tombow glue here one inch in so I just marked a pencil mark there and then you want to make sure it's in the middle and pop that on the back there. Now, I guess if I was to do this again, I've not done this closure before, it's something I've thought up myself, I would probably go in under this layer on the back here, but I haven't, which is why I'm gonna make one of these snaps a decorative, just, you know, piece, just so it looks nice on the back. I mean, people aren't gonna see this so much anyway, but it does also look good. So that's all stuck down. I'm just gonna give that a few more minutes. Okay, now I thought I was gonna do the cream. Let me just lie this one down so you can see. I thought I was gonna have the cream in the middle there, which I still might, but I've also got, no, it's not the right purple. Go light. Okay, so after all that, it's taken me ages, I'm gonna go for white because I think it matches nicer on the front with the flower, that's my thought, and I've got such a white area here, so that's what I'm doing. 
I'm going to go for it. So you need, um, so I'm going to need a bit more here because the one on the back is just going to be decorative. So for the for the front here, for this to clip onto this bit here, you'll need two of the ones with the points. So the two male, um, I guess in this case, and then you will need, and then you will have a male and a female here. So this piece is raised up. That one's um, inset. So those will snap inside each other. Okay. So two points and then a male and a female. Um, and then you will need for the back one another point and that one's just going to snap straight in. Let me get to that in a minute because I can't think. I'm trying to do two things at once. Right. Okay, so this one here, again, you want to come in about one inch. So I'm just going to put a light pencil mark here. I can rub out in a minute. I just need a line there just so I know where I'm working. So just put a light pencil mark just there so I know I'm within this area. And it's going to be roughly there. So the whole thing comes in about one inch, but my actual snap is going to be about half an inch in. That's well, three quarters. Actually, it's, a, it's one and a quarter I'm coming in. Apologies. One and a quarter I'm coming in and then my cross is at three quarters of an inch in. All right, this cross here, that seems to be right, yeah. Okay, so you need your really sharp pokey tool which comes with this kit. I have used this in my laminating projects and all the links will be in my blog, but carefully just go through this, it is so sharp. It's sharper than my Tim Holtz pokey tool. So just go through both sides there so I can see that's come through really well and then what we're going to do is pop in our make sure I do this the right way so that one will be yeah so your female so that's your male that's your female the female one and one of the points is what you need here so you put through this piece so it's nice and neat there and then this piece goes on top, just pop it in place and then this is going to squash it together. So this black like little tray is what you want to sit this disc in and it will kind of pop itself into place and then the rest just it just finds itself just make sure it's all nice and lined up. So now that is squashed and what happens is the point gets squashed onto the top in that little well there, you can just see it. So that's my bit all in place there. And then, so that is now going to be, I'm gonna have to kind of eyeball, there's my pencil mark. So it's from that bit there. I'll give you the measurement. Okay, so I now I've put a cross at half an inch in on this bit. So again, just make sure it's nice and centred, and then you're just going to go through that again with your pokey tool. I'm so scared with this one, but it does really work. It's so sharp. Okay, and then again, one of your pins goes in the top because you want that to be the nice bit from the front there. And then your male piece is what you're now going to attach on the inner side. And then again, grab your pliers. The dish is what the flat piece goes in. Once that's in place, everything else lines up. And it's really easy to squeeze in, but now you can see how that looks and hopefully, yay, it clicks in. And already you can see, and I haven't even got my pictures in, I've still got more embellishments to do, but you can see how that is already starting to pull out because it's going to probably be, end up being about there I reckon. So yeah I really like it, I think it looks cute. So now I'm actually questioning whether to even put it on the back. I think it's going to look silly, I think I'm just going to leave that. I might put an embellishment or something but I'm just going to leave the back. It's entirely up to you if you want to do that or not but I really like that. I'm really pleased with how that's turned out. Phew! Because that is the first time I've done it through that chipboard and um, using it on a mini album because usually I've used them in my um, sewing so I don't tend to use it with my paper craft so much but I am starting to. 
Um, okay, so now I'm going to move on to my spine. So I have got these bits here. I'm just kind of taking bits apart. I want this bit here and I'm going to have it hanging down so far. Like so, I loved this necklace, but I totally, I caught it and it got ruined. All that side got broke, but that's going to look lovely on something. That middle bit there alone will look gorgeous, but I'm just going to use this bit for now. But I want to cut off, I need to get my pliers. I'm just going to remove that little hook there, unless I do it that way up. Maybe that way. Oh no, that way's more of a drop note. Yeah, I'm going to remove that bottom bit. Okay, so I've just removed that. And now... This is all going to be glue gunned on, so the idea is that this is going to hang down. In fact, I think I'm going to just glue gun it all in place and have it like so. Okay, I've just got some of my foam here and I've just cut a thin strip, just a stick in the middle of that back of that bow. And I've also used hot glue to attach it just so it's really, really strong. So that's just drying now. And then I'm going to peel off the backing of that and just line up where this is going to go. Probably should have done the spine before I'd done the front because I'm trying to hold that in place. But So it's going to be there. So this is sat just below that green sprig there. So I'm just going to whack my hot glue all over there. And pop a bit more hot glue on the back of this and that will now sit over the top of that and there we go that looks gorgeous it sits nicely on the side there it looks visually it looks nice I love that and then it looks nice on the side view there I mean this is decorative this is once I filled it with my pictures this is just going to sit on my shelf and I'm just going to enjoy looking at it because I absolutely love it I think it's adorable so um, I'm going to continue doing a couple of more bits inside and then I think we're done okay so I think I'm done the extra bit I added I forgot to mention is I we got these like long strips decorative strips on the paper pads um, which you just um, you know punt like kind of pull out because they're just perforated and there was these ones here the exact look perfect down there. In fact, that love looks really nice. Maybe I should have used the love instead. I might end up changing that because I think I prefer the love. Yeah, I'm going to change that. So I'll do that now. So basically, you need a piece of uh, this is three eighths of an inch. Should be fine. By and it, literally two of the one of this cut in half was exactly the length that I needed. So again, it just worked perfectly. So the length that you need is doo, 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 five and three quarters so I'm just going to trim that so I've got a nice straight line and then I am going to run just a bead of this glue just down there will be fine I thought the love one was going to be a bit much but I didn't bother line it down but actually I prefer it to the other one so just pop that down there there we go so I've done one there one there that worked really nicely and then that one's the same as well so I've got those two and love which sits there so yeah I've got a flower on every page I may add a bit more if once I start putting pictures down because once the photos in place so for example here I might put a little message or another little tag or something there as well so um, yeah I think I think that's about all I need to show you today. So I've got a bit of glue there, which I need to rub off. That's got its way, made its way in there somehow. But yeah, I've got the rosette there, which was just one in my stash. Um, I've talked through all of that. This just clips in. It's got a nice sound as well. I just love that. I know it's nice and secure. And there you have it. So I can't wait. I'm going to spend the afternoon now filling it with my photos. And um, you will see all that in the pictures. So there, hope you've enjoyed it, my mini album tutorial and um, enjoy making them share your versions I always like to see them and um, have fun with it if you've enjoyed today's tutorial please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to see more thanks for watching bye